Batman! I'm the world's greatest detective. I'm looking for the Joker. Hey man, have you seen the Joker? Who are you calling a man? Yeah, suffering Sagatash. Yeah. Hey, hello guys. Today we're going to unbox and review this Wonder Woman figure produced by McFarlane Toys as part of its DC Multiverse line. Now, this figure is part of a wave of four figures that has parts of a bigger Bane figure. So in this case, you will get the arms of Bane. Now, this version of Wonder Woman comes from the comic series Batman The Last Night on Earth where Batman wakes up to an apocalyptic world where people have turned against heroes so he has to solve the mystery behind that situation. So let's take a look at the box. So of course you have this clear plastic which allows you to see everything. You see the figure, you see Wonder Woman, you see the sword here, you see the arms of Bane. From the side this is what you will see. Now from the back you will see the image where the design was based on. Then you see the other parts that you can get from the other figures and how to build Bane. You also see the other figures in the line that you need to collect to form Bane. From the side, top, fine print. So let's take it out of the box. Let's take a closer look. So you have this Wonder Woman who looks like an evil Barbie. <laughs> and the arms. Here you see the trading card. There's the stand. Now here's the Wonder Woman figure. To be honest, you'll have a hard time taking her out of the box. It's as if the whole plastic was molded into her body. So, good luck taking her out of the box or the plastic. So, you get this. The arms of Bane. You have the stand. And then you have the sword, which is kind of flimsy. I think this is for safety purposes. So, children will not lose their eyes. Now, here's Wonder Woman up close. So, you see the face. You have a nice sculpt here. And a very stoic kind of expression. You have the mohawk. Then you have the cape. Then her armor. Her breastplate. You have some nice details in the armor, a nice texture too, good color combination. Then you have the boots. She also has a scabbard for her sword. It's the cape. I like the torn detail. Boots. There, there's the Wonder Woman, looking really badass. Let's look at the articulation. There's not much movement when it comes to the neck. So, she looks right, left, shoulders, see this? So there's movement in the elbow, movement in the wrist, you can turn around the hand. So there's a double joint here. The leg joint here, joint here. So let's try to move it or bend it. So get this nice bend in the knee. 
You have some ankle movement too. Then you have the toe for the boots. Same for the other side. Let's try putting in the sword. Now, as you can see, the scabbard can move. So you can put the sword easily. There. It doesn't really have a wide base, so I would suggest you put the stand so it will be more stable. There. Now what is good about the figure? You have a nice, unique design on Wonder Woman. I like the mohawk. I like the ragged costume. And then you have the sword. It looks good. This figure has presence. People will notice it. People will be intrigued by the appearance of Wonder Woman. Why she looks this way. So it looks good. It will look good on your shelf. The price is also good. It's relatively affordable. Here in the Philippines, it sells for around a thousand plus pesos. So a lot of people would be able to afford this. It has decent articulation. And of course, you get the arms of Bane. You have a good looking sword. So what's bad about the figure? Well, I really don't like the sword because it's so flimsy. I understand the safety considerations, but they could have made it more strong or a little more rigid because it doesn't really look good if you have a bent looking sword. For the stability, uh, there might be some concerns because you have a small base for Wonder Woman, so you would need the stand to make it stand up. So that's it. That's the Wonder Woman from McFarlane Toys based on the series. Batman Last Night on Earth. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing. Uh -huh.